Assalamu alaikum, my name is Naseem Rafiq and welcome to my channel, The Cool Principal. How are you students today? So today we are going to learn how to do the examination of placenta after delivery. So let's look at the equipment. We need placenta in a bowl, Macintosh, kidney tray and measuring tape, gloves, and saline to wash the placenta and weighing scale. Hello everyone, let's start the procedure. So always remember that whenever you start any procedure, provide privacy to the client. Be ready after your hand hygiene with the eight steps, then only you are allowed to start the procedure. So now here I am ready to start the procedure. I will prepare my surface, always choose a clean surface and place a macintosh to start examining the placenta. So before I will examine, I will wait the placenta. Let's wait the placenta. Always place a plastic sheet under the placenta so you, are, you will protect the machine weighing machine by this way. So wait, Maisha. Okay. So I have checked the weight. Our next step is to wash the placenta nicely. Don't be harsh. Wash both sides and the umbilical cord. This one must be under running water. Okay, thank you. Now we will start examining the lobe of placenta. We have to check that all the lobes are intact. Okay, first we'll check this side and then we'll check the maternal side. Okay, then we'll check all the arteries and the veins are attached and the maternal surface is also clear and nothing in is in the uterus after the labor. After checking the both side, we will check the length of the cord. So the length of the cord we can measure with the inches tape. So the length is 20 inches. So now I have checked completely the length of the placenta, the maternal surface of the placenta and I have checked that the placenta is intact and nothing is remain in the uh, patient uterus. So now my examination is complete. Now I am going to document the weight of placenta and if I have found that anything is not attached, I have write my finding of the both surface and the umbilical cord and I will also write the length of the umbilical cord in my documents. So don't forget to document everything. Thank you.